Hello again everybody Back on Street Fighter 2 For the Commodore 64 Just Dalsim remains In the uh, list To complete However Zangief Chun-Li And uh, one other The ending was ruined By the disc I've I've got hold of a different copy of a disc here so after I've done Dalsim I will uh, check out Zangief right let's get stuck in into difficulty 7 which is the highest <laughs> got four moves that's good Not sure how to pull them off in this version, but I'll try. Again, I've been playing around with my microphone. One day I'll get it perfect. It's a cheap mic. Depends a lot on the position I put it on in the day. Wasn't that cheap though. Uh, I'm a bit worried about playing with Dalsim. Oh, I shouldn't be. <laughs> Trying to do the yoga flame. The moves are completely different to what you might expect if you're used to Street Fighter. Can't seem to kick in the air with Dalsin, that's annoying. <coughs> I'm sure there is a way. Really, I'm just recording the endings, just for the fun of it, getting all the graphics, all the screens. Annoying that you can't punch in the air. Oh, oh! Just trying to learn how to summon the moves, but. Oh, I threw him then. Just die, Ryu. Yoga knee. Hey, I punched in the air. Takes normally just over 30 minutes to complete this game. Her character, obviously. I like starting out on this one, it's very easy. <clears throat> Gonna be 
taking a look at Mighty Final Fight soon. The ZX Spectrum. That looks amazing, that game. Better than the NES version, I think. Just from what I've seen of it. Quite a few other games lined up as well, and adding more to my Space Invader style game later today. Perfect. slow going with Dalsim. I think because he's so stretchy it uses more sprites slightly more power used seems a bit slower right come on get the double perfect there we go <laughs> I've only ever played this game in the arcades or the SNES and obviously all the newer systems. <laughs> Wonder if it's available on maybe Game Boy. I say it every time I play this game but if they ported it to C64 why did it not end up on the NES? must have got blocked for whatever reason it's the only thing I can think probably ended up pants I'm surprised there isn't some sort of long lost port of it available to download somewhere would say thank you to my recent followers but I noticed I actually went down one overnight so thank you to the other 21 who have remained a follower let's get this C Blanca see him off
Only did he go to flame, at least one. Doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, what the heck am I doing there? Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Didn't do any damage, but... Haha! <laughs> I can spam projectiles now. <coughs> yeah, it's tricky with the mic. If I have it too close, it'll clip. I'll move it back one inch and it's too quiet. <laughs> Burn you beast. <laughs> Unfortunately, like I said at the start of the video, a couple of the characters' endings were um, corrupt <laughs> on the disc. I now have a new disc, so hopefully it's not corrupt anymore. If it turns out that Dulcim's ending's corrupt, that means um, that means it's likely that the other ones will be on this copy as well, which would be annoying. I don't really want to play through it again without getting the ending. Street Fighter 2 music, it's iconic. I actually had a CD, I think I got it on a magazine or something. All of the Street Fighter 2 music on CD. Oh no, I had dodged it. Can't do the yoga fire anymore. There we go. Dalsim's got some moves. Trying to do the flame. Oh, right, I see, I've had enough. Just gonna beat him. <laughs> I 
great background. So this must be in the high res mode, yeah. Even though it looks like more than two colours per square. Right? Just a good trick with the graphics, I guess. Just another eight fights to go. I could do the flame every time a minute ago. It hasn't hurt him. I hit him twice with fireballs. He's got full health. Kicked him when he was on the ground. minutes left in this one. Got a lot of games I want to try out still. A lot of games I want to complete. Not so many on the Commodore 64 fully completed that I can see on online. Least of all where they're completed live on Twitch with someone chatting while they do it. Most of the time it's on an emulator with no voice, pre-recorded. I don't use any walkthroughs, I don't look up glitches. Why bother playing the game if you're going to do that? I don't I hate on people for doing that if you've already got all you can out of the game and you want to get past a place 
by all means. And sometimes it becomes a, a uh, temptation just to keep checking the walkthroughs. You know, it ruins, in my opinion, the gameplay experience. I'd rather spend, you know, for example, in a dizzy game, I'd rather spend like five hours roaming around looking what to do than 20 minutes to read how to do it and just follow a guide, you know. Die, woman. God. Perfect. Out of time. Dulcim is one of the best players to be as in this. Chun Li's awful to play as. Unfortunately, I think um, ending was ruined by the disc, so I'll have to play through her again at some point. So, five fights left then. <coughs> Blood Zangi. I recently beat Defender of the Crown and in a way that's left me a bit saddened because I did like enjoy playing that one. Um, I am probably going to go back to it and complete it as one of the worst characters because I think I was the best character to pick at the time I completed it so I'll find who the worst one is to pick him. That's the end of Zangief. A 
attack over Moscow. Raid over Moscow. Another game that's much harder than this that I'm going to be looking to complete is Target Renegade. Already got to stage 3 or near the end of stage 3. I looked it up as 5 stages in total. Um, I think I can do that because I lost a lot of lives on stage 1. If I can work out a way of not losing any lives on stage 1, could be good to go. I actually do think stage one is harder than stage two, possibly stage three. I haven't completed stage three, but um, I get there with hardly any lives left. So. All right, looks like we're fighting Bolrog next. think after this I'll come back on with a bit of live coding. We've just started to spawn our enemies but they're all spawning on top of each other which I wasn't expecting so we've got to figure that out. Dunno, that might not that might not happen. I might bring the code to work with me and have a look at it at work trying to figure it out on my own first. I get to do a lot of sitting around at my work waiting for customers. Which sounds good, but believe me, it's boring. I'm just going to spam him, can't be bothered. There we go. Good clunk. <laughs> the easiest clunk ever this game. Easy game. <laughs> I mean if I could go back in time and be a game tester for this particular port and they wanted my criticism on it I'd just say it's, it's brilliant but make difficulty 7 like really hard. You know what I mean? I mean, if you've changed it, to, if you've gone into the menu and you've changed the difficulty to difficulty 7, you don't expect it to be easy, you know? So, sometimes in this game, the, the, the enemy will put together a combo that's almost unbeatable. They'll break out of your attack and, and hurt you, but then they just stand still. Which is fine, don't worry, but you know, I know it's a limitation on the system as well, but they really wanted to, they could have made the player e impossible to beat. You know, they really wanted to quite easily. But they needed to find that balance of not being impossible but actually being tricky. I can understand on the medium difficulty they want it just to be easy. They don't want people complaining about how they can't pull off special moves and can keep getting beaten by cheesy AI. But on the harder setting, I don't know, I think they dropped the ball a bit there, but I mean they've done the same thing with Final Fight, where it's very, very easy to win, but that one I agree with because they, they, there's not much they can do. If they make it hard, no one's ever going to complete it. So they sort of just opted to make it easy. If you play it in the right way, you can just easily win it. So Vega, Vega next, is it? Yeah.
Vega. Perfect. Bit like what I was talking about a minute ago. Vega and Bison are like the easiest to beat in the whole game. This is a glitch, he just stays there and he'll damage me now. Oh, I managed to get him to drop down. I'm stuck. Oh, I was just about to end him and he'd done that. Yes, he, I took damage there, I was nowhere near him. <laughs> I was looking up about games after this so on the um, C64 the only ones I come up with which I could remember was that Monster Land one which is a platformer quite a cutesy looking does look very good for the system but by that point I think it was 1993 you know it was very much out of date I can remember it coming out and I was 12 you know and kind of found it funny I find it funny that people were still buying games for Commodore at that time, being that age. I almost found it ridiculous, you know, I think I was well addicted to Civilization, lots of real-time strategies on PC. I had the Amiga with all their great games, Mega Drive, SNES, had the lot by then. You know, I didn't have all those systems at the same time, I used to trade with my friends a lot. But I always had a PC most of my life. And an Amiga. Cool. Just putting up a challenge. It's not the same as fighting Saga on the snow. <coughs> I don't know why I record these series really. Fear of failure. <laughs> Perfect. Turrican on the C64 I played yesterday. That looks superb for the system. I couldn't really get my head around it. Well, when I said I couldn't get my head around it, the map just sort of done my head in because I kept falling. Didn't quite know where I was going. My short term memory is very bad and that seems like a game you do need to remember where you're going. But 
in the end the boss wiped me out and I gave up but that one I do recommend okay here's the big boss we're 35 minutes into the video so it's roughly 40 minutes in it each one I've gone through it almost as quick as I could here I'd shave 5 minutes off if I really went out Good game, Bison. Good game, but unlucky. It's an uphill climb for him now. I haven't figured out how to do that yoga fire again. Finished him with the Indian sweep. That was Street Fighter 2 for the Commodore 64. Playing as Dull Sim on hardest difficulty. Now we get the ending. And it's bugged. Well, that's the end of Street Fighter 2. I've recorded all eight endings. Three of them were like this, including this one. Big disappointment. Let me know in the chat if you've got this game and it doesn't do that. I'd love to know. Until next time. See you there. Bye. <laughs>